Okay, I thought I'd just do a quick video, while the bloody thing's still working, of my filament extruder. Filament extruder takes pallets, all stored in this bottle nicely, leads them down here. There's a heating element, or there's an auger that feeds them through to a heating element, heats it up to the right temperature, which is currently set to 209, spits it out the, the nozzle through this coiling mechanism and ends up coiled on the floor. Now, I've had this for nearly 12 months. In December it'll be 12 months. Uh, it was a Kickstarter. I had another issue, mainly around the gear driving mechanism. This isn't the standard mechanism, as you can see, I've modified <laughs> the drive. I've actually bought out the gear and used a long uh, 1132 socket to onto the auger drive. Um, one, two of the screws are just gripping the pulley to stop it moving. One of them is actually bore, uh, there's a hole in the actual drill bit to bind it to the shaft so it stops the pulley moving out. Um, I did try sourcing replacement gears but unfortunately the after sale support of this device is woeful. They don't answer emails on their support forums. I posed the question of replacement gears, whether I could purchase one or even get the model so I could print my own. No response. It's uh, disappointing considering I paid over $300, I think it was close to $350 for this device to help them get up and running and yeah I've been left to my own devices to repair the machine. Um, apart from that this is actually, we'll see if I can actually get a couple of hours worth of extruding out of this. I had it running for about an hour the last time the outwalker bound up and stripped the gear so we'll see if we're any lucky any more lucky this time. I'll leave it to its own devices and we'll see if I can actually get through this full. I think there's one point something kilograms worth of material in this uh, reservoir. And yeah, I'll leave it to it. I'll come back later.